Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Flash, we're doing Season 1, Episode 18. It's called All-Star Team-Up. So, um, we'll start off with, this is like a mini crossover. So we start off the episode with a car chase, and The Flash helps. And then there's like three more of those. There's basically like three robberies in one night. And then we cut to where someone gets attacked by bees. I am recording, okay? Sorry, there's a car going by. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so someone gets attacked by bees, and then Wes says to be wary of everyone at Star Labs, including Cisco and Caitlin. And then we have Felicity is there with Ray. And then there's like a little Superman uh, reference as well, because when it comes in, because is that bird? Is that plane? No, it's Adam. <laughs> So, uh, and then we have Barry being jealous of Ray. <laughs> and then we have uh, Ray and Felicity babbling to where it's kind of funny and basically like, they're like, um, Cisco's like, oh my God, there's two of them. Or Caitlin said that. One of them said that. And it's kind of funny. And then we have Barry and Felicity talk. And then Eddie blows off Iris. And turns out he's not a good liar at all. And he's trying to tell his feelings to Joe. And it gets a little TMI. And then we have Barry and Felicity talk a little bit more. And then we have Ray and Cisco working on suit. And then Cisco is remembering something. He's starting to remember uh, what happened to him. But he's kind of playing off as like, as like a weird dream right now. And then we have uh, the killer bees attacking again. And when they get to the scene, the bees are inside the dead person. And it was so creepy. They just came out. It was so weird. And then we have Barry surrounded by bees and got stung super bad. And it goes into shock. And luckily, um, Cisco I put some, like, um, you know, this, um, what's it called for heart failure and they try to start your heart again I forgot what you call it please let me know in the comment section down below because I forgot and anyway, so basically um, Cisco jump starts him and he's fine then Cisco um, messed up with something I forgot <laughs> then because uh, uh, there's a stray bee there and he's trying to figure out how it works and then they actually figure out, and then they, the bee can see everything. It's not great. I think. <laughs> and so anyway, um, then Ray suggests they all go to a restaurant to go out to eat. So um, he rented out the entire restaurant. And it's between Barry, Iris, Eddie, Felicity, and Ray. So it's like a double date night plus Barry. <laughs> And so, um, <laughs> and then we have Cisco talks to Joe and asks if Barry is okay. And then Cisco kind of spaces out a little bit because he's starting to remember a little bit more. And Joe says, oh, he's fine. And then we cut to the awkward dinner. And they taste that is super awkward. And then, um, Barry spills beans, um, about to Felicity about what's happening and stuff. And then, um. Then we go to where Barry gets the bee, but it's not really a bee, it's a robot. So they go to Mercury Labs and and she want and Barry wants to warn the lady there, Miss McGee. And she's like, I'm pretty sure I'm capable of handling this myself. But we turn out and but when they start asking stuff, she uh, knows that what employee it was, and it was someone named Bree is behind it. So Felicity and Barry talk some more. And he just voices his feelings on how like, he can't really he can't really trust Cisco and Caitlin. But Felicity tells Barry to trust them and that they're there for him. And you know, it takes a, a minute for to build trust and keep the trust going. And so then um then we cut to where Barry um defends Eddie to Iris, and then Felicity traces the wireless network to Mercury Labs, and, and then Felicity finds out where Bree is um, at. And so the Atom goes to Mercury Labs, and the Bees go after Palmer. 
And so um, basically what he does is to get rid of some of the bees, since there are robots, he takes them underwater and to get rid of most of the bees. And then we cut to... Um, then we cut to the flash goes to Bree and it's flash versus the bees, but Felicity had the frequency. And so basically, um, she, de she uh, deactivated all the bees. And then we have um, Ray's suit is starting to malfunction again because he just, hello, got in the water. And so, but he fly, he managed to fly into the van that um, Cisco and Caitlin are driving. And then Felicity um, got the bees to surround Bree, but the stray bee gets Cisco, and then Barry helps Cisco um, and saves the, um, the bee from getting Ray. Like Cisco jumped in the way, and then Barry helps Cisco, and everything's great. And then we have uh, Christina and Barry talk. Uh, Christina McGee from Mercury Labs. And about um, about Wells, and then Iris and Eddie don't make up, and then Barry brings Keelan and Cisco, um, and tell and about uh, Wells, and then Cisco tells everyone about his dreams, which is where Wells kills him in the alternate timeline, and that's the end of the episode. So it was a really, really, really good episode. I'll give this a plus. It was just super creepy about the bees coming out of the dead man. So creepy to me. Anyway, um, <laughs> but it was so, it was interesting, but it's hella weird. Ugh. I hate, I hate bees. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> really don't like them. Anyway, um, so anyway, if you, that's the end of this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more stuff coming up. Because I will be doing a lot more stuff, trust me. So anyway, I'll see you in my next video, and I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day. Bye, everybody.